Hello, and welcome to this Red Hat OpenShift virtualization demo. My name is Chandler Wilkerson, and today I will be going through the process of creating a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 virtual machine on Red Hat OpenShift virtualization 2.6. To get started, log into the OpenShift console as an administrator and navigate to Workloads, then Virtualization. Users of the previous version may notice the addition of OpenShift Virtualization Quick Starts under the Learn How to Use Virtual Machines button. Let's choose creating a Red Hat Enterprise Linux virtual machine. Before we begin the tour, we have a time estimate for the work, 20 minutes, and a basic outline of the two steps involved. As we begin the quick start, it creates a panel on the right side of the browser pane, and this persists even as you navigate around the console. The quick start begins with some explanatory text outlining the objectives of the tutorial. There are prerequisites and a brief overview of the concepts covered in this quick start. At the bottom of the first page are links to the two tasks covered in this quick start. The first is to import a Red Hat Enterprise Linux KVM guest image. The second is to create a virtual machine from that image. Beginning the first task, we need to be in the administrator perspective, which we are, and we need to click on workloads, virtualization, then templates. Here you can see the operating system supported by OpenShift Virtualization. The one we're interested in is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, and you can see by the Add Source button that there is no boot source image for this OS yet. The next step will be to click on the Add Source button, which will take you to the Add Boot Source to Template dialog. Under Boot Source Type, choose Import URL, and under Import URL, you are directed to the Red Hat Customer Portal to download an image. To save time, I have already logged into the Customer Portal with my credentials. To access the KVM download, you will need a Red Hat Customer Portal account with developer credentials and or rel entitlements. Let's select the latest version of RHEL, 8.3, and scroll down to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.3 Update KVM Guest Image. Right-click on the Download Now button and select Copy Link Location. Return to the console and paste the download link under Import URL. Finally, click and save, save and import. The Add Source button will change to preparing PVC and then to importing. The download and import will take some time, so this is a good opportunity to finish this section of the quick start and start reading the next task. Here I've skipped ahead to the point where the KVM guest image has completed its download and shows as available. We begin the second task by clicking on Workloads and Virtualization and the Virtual Machines tab and Create Virtual Machine with Wizard. Scroll down to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0 VM and notice the available boot source image. The defaults here are fine. Notice we have it in a default namespace. And 
time the start this virtual machine after creation button is clicked. So we can continue on to see our virtual machine. The status is currently importing CDI, which just means that the PVC is being cloned from the boot source image. We can close out the quick start and wait briefly for our VM to come up. And as you can see, we have a login screen. And that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about OpenShift virtualization, please visit openshift.com virtualization.